listening to KTWR, broadcasting from Guam. Our programs are heard at 1245 Coordinated Universal Time. Broadcasting on 13740 kilohertz on the 22 meter band. This is KTWR, Aganya, Guam. Speaking hope to the world because hope knows no barriers. Have you quoted the phrase, He restoreth my soul? Without me thinking about the words, what constitutes our soul? What does it mean to restore something? Why does our soul need restoring? Today on Christmas, Barbara Sandbeck will answer these questions as she continues the study of the 23rd Psalm. The best way for me to understand a biblical phrase is to first define the words. So, let's start there. What is our soul? Our soul is the immaterial part of us, our mind, emotions, and will. The soul in union with the body is called bios, or physical life, given by Almighty God. Genesis 2, 7 states, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. At death, the body returns to dust, and the soul lives on, according to Matthew 10, 28, because it's the part of a person that never dies. Our soul will spend eternity either in hell, which is spiritual death, or heaven, which is spiritual life. Spiritual life, or Zoe, is the union of the soul with God. 2 Corinthians 5, 8 states that when a person who is in Christ is absent from the body, they are present with the Lord. To be in Christ... Our soul must be restored. The word restore means to renew or to bring in harmony those who are in variance. Our ancestors Adam and Eve were created in perfect union with God, but sin severed that union for them and for us too. Romans 5.12 says, As by one man sin entered into the world, and death 